Please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 25 from legal material. 5 seconds. Start. We have given our thoughtful consideration to the entire issue that arises in this matter. For our consideration, the directive principle contained in Article 45 has made a provision for free and compulsory education for all children up to the age of 14 years within 10 years of promulgation of the Constitution of India. But the nation could not achieve this goal even after 50 years of adoption of the provision. It was felt that though the government of India in partnership with state governments had made strenuous efforts to fulfill the mandate and though significant improvements were seen in various educational indicators, the ultimate goal of providing universal and quality education still remained unfulfilled. In order to fulfill that goal, it was felt that an explicit provision should be made in the part of the Constitution relating to fundamental rights. Right to education is now a guaranteed fundamental right under Article 21A. It commands that the state shall provide free and compulsory education to all children at of the age of 6 to 14 years in such manner as the state may by law determine. The state at present is under the constitutional obligation to provide education to all the children of the age of 6 to 14 years. The state by virtue of Article 21A is bound to provide free education, create necessary infrastructure and effective machinery for the proper implementation of the right and meet total expenditure of the schools to that extent. Right to education guaranteed by Article 21A would remain illusory in the absence of state taking adequate steps to have acquired required number of schools manned by efficient and qualified teachers. Before teachers are allowed to teach the children, they are required to receive appropriate and adequate training from a duly recognized training institute. It has been observed by this court that allowing ill-trained teachers coming out of unrecognized institutes or licensing them to teach the children of impressionable age contrary to the norms prescribed will be detrimental to the interests of the nation itself in the sense that in the process of building a great nation, teachers and educational institutions also play vital role. In cases like these, interest of individuals cannot be placed above or preferred to larger public interest, such as the importance of proper training to the teachers before they are allowed to teach the children of impressionable age. A far reading and analysis of the scheme of the Act with respect to recognition of the institution, imparting course or training in teacher education is an essential prelude to the core questions involved. On a plain reading of the provisions, it is evident that from the date of enforcement of the Act, every institution offering or intending to offer the course or training in teacher education was required to make application to the regional committee in such form and manner as may be determined by the regulations as provided in Section 14 of the Act. The proviso 
to section 14.1 states that an institution offering a course or training in teacher education immediately before the appointed day shall be entitled to continue such course or training for a period of six months if it has made an application for recognition within the said period and until disposal of the application by the regional committee. What happens in case of existing institution makes application seeking recognition within the prescribed time but no decision is taken by the council within the period of six months. Does it mean that the institution can impart training only for a period of six months and thereafter close the institution? Section 14.5 states that every institution in respect of which recognition has been refused shall continue the course or training in teacher education from the end of the academic session next following the date of receipt of the order refusing recognition passed under the clause stop